Wirsa Anda menyaksikan Jack News Jateng News Magazine. Wirsa untuk terus meningkatkan kemampuan dan juga kecakapan advokasi internasional secara efektif, The World Uyghur Congress menggelar capacity building training seminar for Uyghur activists. Dan hal ini dilakukan di Bursa, Turki pada tanggal 25 hingga 27 Maret yang lalu. Diikuti oleh sebanyak 40 peserta dan secara langsung dibimbing selama tiga hari berturut-turut oleh 10 tenaga ahli. Seperti apa informasi selengkapnya? Hanya untuk Anda. The World Uyghur Congress mengadakan pelatihan peningkatan kapasitas untuk pemuda Uyghur di Bursa Turki pada 25 hingga 27 Maret 2022. The World Uyghur Congress menyediakan ruang bagi pemuda dari Asia Tengah Eropa dan Turki untuk melakukan advokasi internasional yang efektif. Pembicaranya antara lain Perhat Mohamed, Vice President of the World Uyghur Congress, Dr. Eric Kim Ekrem of the World Uyghur Congress, Rahima Mahmud, the UK Director, Lucia Paruci of Unrepresented Nations and People Organization atau UNPO, Luke de Pulford, British Human Rights Activist, Miss Mia Hasensen Cross dari Rene Kasin dan Dr. Ergen Ozdemir. 300 milyonluk Türk dünyasının önemli bir parçası olduğu için e, bu zulmü yaşıyorlar. Loka karya yang diikuti sebanyak 40 peserta terpilih ini datang dari berbagai negara. Namun sebagian besar datang dari Turki. Mereka mendapatkan pelatihan khusus di bawah bimbingan 10 tenaga ahli selama tiga hari. Hal yang menarik, loka karya ini tak hanya secara offline tetapi juga diadakan secara online untuk mengikut sertakan peserta yang tidak dapat melakukan perjalanan karena alasan pembatasan perjalanan, pandemik maupun finansial. Peserta workshop nampak sangat antusias dengan rangkaian kegiatan dan suguhan materi yang diberikan. Jau Nasir Muhammad yang merupakan aktivis Uyghur yang datang dari Istanbul menceritakan bahwa peserta dibimbing untuk melakukan advokasi strategis di ruang internasional melalui kampanye yang efektif, pembangunan koalisi, dan keterlibatan dengan media yang memainkan peran penting dalam memajukan hak-hak Uyghur di kancah global. Actually, this is a training, uh, advocacy training uh, camp, so just like, uh, so I just, uh, I think uh, I can improve myself and then I can learn the more different the skills and the method to how can we do high level advocacy in the Turkey and the, in the world. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, I think it is uh, good and then uh, because uh, the Uh, there are so many uh, teacher and then the activist actually is a famous act activist and then uh, the successful activist uh, training us uh, so I think uh, this is a very professional training yeah uh, in this uh, uh, yeah just uh, t today just uh, this morning we beginning this uh, Uh, training and then uh, we slowly get more uh, actually I think uh, skills and the method uh, so a high level uh, international uh, method uh, I think advocacy method so I think uh, it's very useful for us uh, actually I'm uh, I also uh, doing activity in the Istanbul more than two years and then uh, so I also have other planning to do uh, act, act activism and then uh, you know uh, I am also uh, to some advocacy for my mom who is getting to the camps and then I, I have more planning actually uh, yeah uh, in the future I, I just want to continue my uh, fighting uh, continue my advocacy and then continue to do my uh, planning for the advocacy yeah. Uh, I think uh, the Uyghur issues are not uh, only belong to the Uyghur, you know, Uyghur is uh, uh, advocacy not only belong to the Uyghur because there is a very uh, different uh, right, uh, uh, different issues happening in the uh, East Turkestan.
Uh, so you, you can imagine there is our uh, human rights issues and then there are uh, women issues and the children's issues yeah so basic human our basic human right uh, was uh, stolen by chinese government so i think in the whole world wild not only religions and then religious people or and then uh, nationalities people actually anyone can uh, join as anyone who uh, uh, actually is who just uh, want to do it for humani uh, humanity uh, they all can join us actually so uh, i think uh, these issues belong to world whole world in this program, um, there are lots of um, experts on advocacy and human rights defending. Um, I think this will be uh, a great chance to uh, develop our uh, awareness and um, educating us for um, human rights because there is an ongoing and systematic uh, genocide in East Turkestan, uh, aka Uyghur region. So uh, I think this is a huge opportunity to um, speak up and know, what, know about uh, what we can do on this situation. I think this is so important. Um, in this event, uh, I believe that uh, I know how to uh, use laws and uh, advocacy for uh, defending um, for my people. And you know, there's uh, lots of um, ways and lots of uh, methods uh, for um, maintaining a, a human rights um, activism. So I think um, this is um, so great for us. Uh, yeah, I want to become more uh, active in the uh, advocacy process, um, and I want to. I want to do. I want to try to do uh, my best uh, for um, helping and helping for those who are suffering in the uh, back in my country. Yeah, I think uh, Turkish government will uh, should. Uh, speak up for our uh, cause because it's so important for us to, um, you know, um, find allies on this um, issue because uh, we are brothers and sisters. Like uh, we are, um, we have the same religion and we have the same ethnic background. So uh, I want um, Turkish government and the other non-governmental organization to. Um, become um, unite and um, find solution for our uh, cause. Nelly Effendigil, perempuan aktif sebagai aktivis Uyghur ini, juga menyambut gembira pelatihan untuk generasi muda ini. Dirinya menambahkan bahwa lokal karya ini memberikan banyak wawasan serta ilmu untuk kaum muda dan aktivis Uyghur seperti sejarah The World Uyghur Congress, advokasi hak asasi manusia secara internasional, kampanye dan penggunaan media sosial, serta pers yang efektif. Tak hanya itu, materi juga disampaikan dengan gaya menarik melalui lantunan lagu dan permainan alat musik tradisional. I love your time. Berdasarkan hasil sesi lokal karya, peserta aktivis muda Uyghur ini akan dibentuk untuk meningkatkan kepedulian di Turki maupun secara internasional serta melakukan advokasi yang relevan di negara mereka. Uh, I feel lucky because as I believe there's not so much people in here and they choose numbered people to join this event. So I feel lucky because we learn very good stuff in here. Uh, 
Uh, actually, I wasn't even know how what to do to uh, defend this case, Uyghur case, and we learned how to use social media and how to use international communities. Uh, that's all we learned. Uh, my favorite material is social media because in these days everything works on social media. So that's my favorite. Uh, my favorite uh, feature. Uh, actually, I'm a lawyer, so I want to uh, practice in international law, law and I want to develop myself in international law. That's what my plan is for now. Um, after this training, I would like to make awareness for our case and everyone I know and everyone I can reach because I was thinking like, I, I can't make difference by myself, but uh, I will reach one person. He, that person will reach two, three, four, and that's why uh, that's what that's how our case will uh, reach so many people. So that's what I'm gonna do. I hope. Uh, it's a big, huge honor for me to participate in such a great event. Thanks for the organizers. Uh, everything was like on a very high, high level. The materials provided, the lectures were very uh, knowledgeable. And I think we did get, all the uh, participants managed to get a lot from these trainings. Uh, the event was a huge event, two days uh, fu full of trainings, so there are lots of things that we managed to get. But most importantly, I think I, what I get was uh, the exact step-by-step -step guide on how to engage with different NGOs, politicians, MPs, uh, how to work with uh, media and etc. So we did get a very structured step-by-step uh, -step way how to how to do that. My favorite material, uh, I would probably say, uh, I would say the, the last uh, presentation by Zimratay. Uh, she clearly break down uh, her one of the most important campaigns, which was No Beijing 2022. Uh, she showed how to apply the knowledge that we managed to get, that we get, got during these two days. Uh, she showed how did she apply in her work, uh, which is very, very le relevant to us, and that was a very like good example for us how to to, uh, to manage and create such campaigns in future. One of the greatest uh, knowledge that I managed to get today is that you can't get everything in one go. You have to split your targets into small, small pieces and do one step at a time. You have to, uh, and what uh, I think previously my targets uh, were sl slightly unrealistic maybe, that's what I understood. And my goal is now to split them into small, small, big, uh, small problems and solve them, solve them one by one. And yeah, that's the plan for the future. Uh, after these trainings, uh, as I mentioned before, I'm planning to split my, the, my previous goals, which was, which was probably too ambitious to do alone in one go. I will, I'm going to split them out into sm uh, much smaller problems and try to solve them one by one. And there are different lots of uh, there are lots of uh, supporters of your cause now globally. It's a known problem. Lots of uh, governments, lots of. Uh, people support us. Uh, I am planning to engage with them and work with them to achieve our goals. And basically what she said in the speech, it's all nice and well that we have conventions and treaties. Seluruh peserta akan mampu mengintegrasikan praktik-praktik terbaik dalam pekerjaan advokasi dan upaya membangun koalisi mereka. Dengan membangun kapasitas pemuda Uyghur di Turki untuk melakukan advokasi hak asasi manusia. Sejalan dengan loka karya ini yang bertujuan untuk berkontribusi pada generasi muda aktif menjadi pembela hak asasi manusia Uyghur di Turki dan Eropa, serta secara global. The purpose of this um, event is to build the capacity of young Uyghur activists uh, from abroad who are living in different countries and who don't necessarily um, have the necessary tools or resources to advocate for the Uyghur cause. So um, us coming here um, to organize this capacity building training is to um, provide them with necessary skills, tools and resources. Um, that are being given by um, people who have experience and who are doing this on a daily basis um, to share their own experiences but also some of the theoretical um, issues and, and um, 
lessons to be learned and so uh, we're hoping that this uh, this event this workshop will um, will be useful for the young activists so that they can uh, advocate for the Uyghur cause uh, for themselves um, the city of Bursa is actually supporting us, uh, not financially, but they're supporting us in terms of providing some of the materials and also um, guiding us and giving us advice um, and securing some of the platforms as well. Um, so the, this workshop would not have happened without the, the kind uh, sponsorship of uh, the city of Bursa, so we are very thankful to, to them. Um, the number of participants who are participating in this workshop are actually 43 who are participating in person from Bursa directly, but we also have 10 uh, participants who are joining online, so uh, we have uh, around 60 participants. Um, this event um, is actually part of um, our, the, the World Uyghur Congress organizes um, capacity building trainings every year for Uyghur activists from around the world, so this is part of our program. Um, so because of COVID, we have not been able to carry out um, as many in-person workshops as, as we would have liked, but uh, now that the things are um, going back to normal, we are are going back to in-person events, in-person workshops. So um, we will be continuing workshops every year um, and uh, it will be held in different countries, different cities. Um, so um, I would just say stay updated, stay tuned for our upcoming uh, workshop next year. The materials that will be provided um, during this workshop are um, various. So we are distributing, for example, our annual reports um, or some uh, templates or even uh, flyers with useful information on how to conduct um, advocacy. Um, but I think the most important material that uh, will be useful for participants is the knowledge and skill sets that they will learn during these uh, two-day program uh, because it will teach them how to really apply the theory um, in, in practice and actually uh, show up to meetings and, and be able to uh, hold meetings with important people, important stakeholders and advocate uh, for the Uyghur cause. Um, this uh, workshop, the result of this workshop will be hopefully what we're aiming to do is to, as I said previously, to educate young Uyghurs to be able to stand up for themselves and stand up for their own rights and be um, ready to defend their own um, rights anywhere. And uh, so in, in that regard, we are hoping that uh, based on our workshop, they will have the necessary tools to do it in the future and uh, this is exactly what we're here for and uh, we are hoping to see also these Uyghur young activists uh, hold up uh, positions of power uh, but also um, work in different environments that will enable them to uh, move forward with their advocacy and to make their own space and connect with people, create their own network but also ultimately to also to stay um, connected with the Uyghur community um, and especially with the World Uyghur Congress, we will be able to obviously uh, provide even further uh, resources and um, capacity um, building uh, workshops like these to uh, help them navigate through uh, some of these avenues as well. I suppose the message uh, that we have for the world is that um, we are doing these, organizing these trainings and these trainings are being organized by youth like ourselves. So we are also uh, young activists who have been trained previously by the World Congress and um, by doing so we're aiming to do one thing and it is to effectively uh, advocate for our, our, um, our people's rights and to, um, to stand up against uh, authoritarian government like China and so we're hoping that the world will also give us the, the necessary tools uh, to equip us with uh, the knowledge and skill sets to do this uh, professionally but also um, internationally as well. Um, after the training the participants uh, will be uh, hopefully uh, will we'll stay in touch with the World of Congress and, and our team um, so that if they have any questions they can directly ask them to us and uh, we're also hoping to see them in our future events we of course have many events every year and we're hoping to see more young 
um, engaged people come to to these um, advocacy conferences or any kind of workshops or events uh, because this is how um, it will it will give them the, the the networking um, opportunities, but also uh, I think it is also through uh, meeting people that uh, a lot of things can get done. So we're hoping that um, these youth will be interested enough to to stay in this in this movement and um, ultimately join uh, not only the World in Congress but also join the Uyghur movement advocacy um, and uh, do greater things uh, together in the future. The main purpose of this event uh, is to training. Uh our Uyghur youth activists for the future uh, future cadre of uh, World Uyghur Congress because World Uyghur Congress is an international organization uh, who is advocating for human rights and international uh, in international level in UN and the EU and we need uh, our youth Uyghurs who are going to be held in the future the, the same uh, position. Yes, this, this training uh, was organized by World Uyghur Congress and also uh, Osman Gazi Bursa uh, Council, uh, which we are also very thankful for that. And <clears throat> the specific support was is it, in logistics support and also by the uh, printing materials and also uh, they helped us with. Uh, Organized uh, and invite the uh, main politic uh, political politicians here in Bursa and also in Turkey, and uh, yeah, we are very thankful for the support. Um, <clears throat> how many participants was um, registered? It's about more than forty participants from uh, several uh, countries, but mostly from Turkey. Uh, this is the students who has uh, studied here in, in, in Turkey. Uh, all all participants are Uyghurs, and um, it's about 43, I, I guess, for, for, yeah, 43 participants uh, in person and uh, 12 participants online. Uh, they are registered for this event. Right. Um, <clears throat> World Congress held uh, such events, uh, such uh, capacity trainings, uh, in in several. Yes, since 2007, we started in, since 2007 uh, because we needed uh, more young people who are going to be uh, protect Uyghur rights uh, in international level. That's why we uh, started uh, these programs uh, in several countries, in Munich, uh, in Oslo, in Brussels, uh, in Stockholm. Uh, and this, this time is the second time in Turkey. Uh, first time was in Istanbul. Yes, okay. uh, it's about 22 events, I think, we hold, uh, and we will also keep it uh, to hold such events in future. Maybe this year also gonna be uh, we will do it in Oslo. Uh, this is uh, all um, reports uh, from international uh, organization like a uh, Human Rights uh, Watch or Amnesty International, also from UNPO, from. Uh, UHRP, so it is Uyghur Human Rights Project, and uh, also our reports. Uh, this is uh, what we provide for the participants. Yes, and we specified this time uh, specific for Turkey because we have here uh, in fr uh, from the homeland from East Turkestan, uh, they are living the most. Uh, uh, diaspora is in uh, Turkey, so uh, from Uyghur people. For example, in Europe we are not so much. We, we are in Germany maybe 1,000. I'm, I'm, I'm also from Germany and we are there 1,000, 1, maybe 1,500 Uyghurs there are living. And uh, in other countries also, maybe in the uh, US more than 3,000 or 5,000. We don't know exactly the um, <coughs> uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, population, but in Turkey, it's more than uh, fifty thousand Uyghurs living here. That's why we specified this event uh, mostly for the Turkish. Uh, they are mostly also you now Turkish citizens or um, Uyghur students who are living in Turkey since uh, several years, and, uh, and 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 studied here. Yeah, for the world is a message that 
the 12th Congress Congress are uh, trying uh, to uh, bring uh, our uh, case um, in international level and uh, with international in, in legal international uh, law and uh, we we try to give for our young participants more than more information uh, how they can uh, yeah um, give their message to the world and um, and advocate for the human right for Uyghur human rights and uh, in 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 international levels like UN European Union or other parliaments or for example local parliaments like in Turkey uh, and this information we give uh, for for the participant in these three days yes it should be three months maybe but we, we keep it uh, very simple and uh, if they are interested to uh, be tra training we, we also uh, provide online trainings yeah after the training uh, we, we, uh, it is also an opportunity for the Uyghur people to meet each other and make a, a, like a connections and uh, with each other and make a, um, like a social networking yes because uh, we, we are giving our experience to them how we work in Germany or in England or in uh, Brussels and in Europe and uh, for example there are also participants of Central Asia we also uh, yeah um, speak with each other what what the problems they, is, they have there or also uh, from the participant in Turkey also we want to know what what is the Ma uh, main problems here to uh, bring this uh, issue Harapannya loka karya ini dapat mengembangkan keterampilan dan pengetahuan pemuda Uighur untuk mengadvokasi hak asasi manusia Uighur di ruang yang berbeda dengan cara yang strategis dan efektif Hasil yang diharapkan bagi peserta adalah peningkatan pengetahuan tentang iklim global saat ini untuk advokasi serta tantangannya dilengkapi dengan peningkatan keterampilan untuk melakukan advokasi hak asasi manusia di lingkungan yang beresiko. Tim Liputan melaporkan.